dear students i am shiva faculty of physics today in this session we are going to deal with the uh, previous topic continuation what we already known as insertion of the dielectric at constant potential for ninth standard students okay now let us continue our topic so here already we know we have one capacitor parallel pit capacitor initially uncharged thereafter charged to the potential v later we introduced the dielectric by making the processes quasi static okay now here we can see in the previous video so we have seen clearly so before the insertion of dielectric what is the charge on this plate plus c why this is connected to the plus terminal what is the charge on this plate minus c but after the insertion of this dielectric clearly we are seeing this charge is multiplied this factor k this charge also multiplied this factor k so from the theory of charging of capacitor so clearly we know how this charge will develop so before going to uh, insert this capacitor this battery just take cv amount of charge from this plate so this battery takes cv amount of charge from this plate and gives for this plate then after also it will take some more charge after the insertion of the dielectric there we studied na in the last video after the insertion of the dielectric charge there increases how the charge increases this battery again removes some more charge from this plate again supplies to this plate that's why this charge now increases now come to the discussion of this physical quantity so now we are talking about energy energy nothing but energy between the plates of capacitor is stored in the form of what type of energy electrostatic potential energy that electrostatic potential energy before the insertion how much this value now we can say half cv square half cv square well before the insertion of that dielectric slab okay after the insertion of the dielectric slab what is that value half kc v square half kc v square so clearly we are seeing now energy there increasing energy here increasing so who will provide that energy to the capacitor energy there increasing na so now what is the general question energy always constant but here you are seeing after the insertion of dielectric when it is connected to the battery the energy is going to increase who will provide who will supply the energy the energy supplied by clearly who battery okay so battery will supply in the charge due to that supply of charge what is increase u increases electrostatic potential energy increases so now we can calculate what is that increase in the energy so increase in the energy now final energy minus initial energy so what is this final energy half kcv square what is the initial energy half cv square so finally here what we can write half cv square into k minus 1 this is common factor na we are taking it out now we are writing as half cv square into k minus 1 now come to the case so we know that so what we know so from the theory of electrostatics we know that delta v is equal to external work done by charge so external work done nothing but energy supplied by the external source energy supplied by the external source now i am saying here as e this e will become delta v into q so this formula now i am using in my further discussion so energy supplied by the external source or work done by the external source is equal to change in the electrostatic potential into charge q moving through that change in potential okay now come to the case previously what is the charge before the insertion in the last class that we studied na before the insertion what is the charge that we have cv after the insertion what is the charge that we have kcv 
so what is the increase in charge so increase in charge nothing but delta q we can say qf minus qy nothing but kcv minus cv nothing but k minus 1 into cv so this one indicates increase in charge who will provide this additional charge who will provide this additional charge this additional charge to the plates of the capacitor provided by this battery what you are seeing at this potential v okay this additional charge who are providing here so this additional charge now providing to the battery by the capacitor now recall this expression from the electrostatics by using this expression of what we can write w is equal to okay work done by the external source nothing but battery is equal to energy supplied by the battery that is equal to q into delta v na now how much amount of charge you are seeing here k minus 1 into cv this k minus 1 into cv charge now moving from where to where moving from this negative potential to positive potential nothing but suppose this is i am taking as zero this one will become v so what is the change in potential delta v so vi zero vf v so vf minus vi there what we can write that is v so q q represents charge passes through this uh, potential difference zero to v so what is the charge there moving through this potential difference k minus 1 into cv so that's why here now we are substituting that value as k minus 1 into cv now it will become k minus 1 into cv square okay so battery is actually supplying how much amount of charge to the capacitor k minus 1 into cv square but out of that k minus 1 into cv square only half cv square into k minus 1 is stored between the plates of capacitor now think yourself where that remaining energy will uh, translate okay so clearly we are seeing now that remaining part of the energy is utilized by the external force so why we are saying na uh, this is what type of process passive steady process so passive steady process nothing but while inserting this dielectric in order to make the dielectric to fit exactly between the plates we can apply the external force always opposite to the motion of the dielectric nothing but that external force utilizes that remaining part of energy so what is the remaining part of energy total energy now k minus 1 cv square battery provided out of the total energy half cv square into k minus 1 stored in the bat uh, stored in the plates of the capacitor now remaining energy what we are seeing that energy was utilized by the external force in order to do what type of work negative work done that's why here what we can write work done by the f external work done by the f external is equal to that remaining part of energy how much that remaining part of energy half cv square into k minus 1 but we are using negative sign why we are using negative sign this external force acting in what direction this external force acting in the direction opposite to the motion of the dielectric so that's why here what we can write minus half into k minus 1 into cv square here minus indicates we are doing what type of work negative work the external force is doing negative work okay so in this manner we can describe the energy so clearly what we are seeing now energy is increased but that energy increased half that of the energy supplied by the battery where that remaining energy utilized that remaining energy utilized by the external force in order to perform some work and to oppose the motion of the dielectric so that's why here what we can conclude finally energy is increased okay but it will just receiving half of that energy only okay students this is uh, 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 this is the uh, continuation of the previous topic i think you understood the session well in the next class we will meet with one more video okay thank you for watching